This is the Integrated Math 2 practice test for the 1718 10 Ready test. Subpart 1, so no calculator allowed. And uh, question number 10. So the question says a student solved the following steps, or a student followed the steps, so they show the student's work. And then it asks to, for us to analyze whether the student is correct or not. In fact, S would say that student's correct, so what does it matter? If it's me and I'm solving this, I'm always going to go back to the original equation and just solve it myself and not even look at any of this stuff while I'm doing it. So that's why it's you know meaningful to have scrap paper or scratch paper depending on how you refer to it. There's some controversy about that, I guess. There's controversy about everything. Uh, so I'm going to go back and solve it. I'm trying to get x by itself and I realized that I could just use that's what I'm trying to get alone. So I'm going to look and see what's the furthest thing on the same side of the equation I can eliminate. Well, plus 15 is just hanging out doing nothing. So I'm going to subtract 15. 15 plus 10 is 25, so one less than that would be 9. Now, x is here. The relationship between x squared is not is very tightly packed there, so I'm going to say that the times 9 is the thing I need to worry about. So I'm going to divide by 9. Then I can get to my final solution. I need to get rid of square, uh, the squared component, so I need to take the square root. So x is equal to plus and minus 1. I could actually test that if I want go back and say, okay, 9 times 1 is 9, plus 15 gives me 24. Um, 9 times negative 1 squared would still be 9, plus 15 gives me 24. So this is the answer I'm looking for. So this student has not performed the operations correctly. I just need to figure out where. And I could test this ahead of time to see. 9 squared is 81 times 9 plus 15 equals 24? Uh, no. So do yourself a favor and just check to see what they've done to see if it's obvious that they've made a mistake and I can eliminate that because of it. So in the first step they got to what looks like this so that's looking pretty good. Step 2 x equals 81. Well I was at x equals x squared equals 1 at that point. x squared is 81 sorry. x squared is equal to 1 so it's got to be somewhere between here and here so from step 1 to step 2, the student should have divided both sides of the equation by 9. What they did instead was eliminate multiplying by multiplying. That never works. So uh, the answer to 10 is P. Step 2 to step 3, no, they were, I mean, based on what they did, other than this mistake, you take the square root, square root of 81 is plus minus 9, so that one's good. From given equation to step 1, the student should have added 15. Well, that doesn't eliminate 15, so that one's out. So that justifies our answer of P.